All right, so I'm seeing this topic pop up in my comment section. I think I might have covered this before, but just in case I haven't, I'm going to cover it again. So how many shots should you shoot to determine a rifle's accuracy? And that all depends on what you're trying to do on how many shots. So what you're looking for is you want to know where exactly the cold bore shot is going to land and then where the two follow-up shots are going to hit. That's all that matters. I understand this gets skewed because a lot of people play Call of Duty and they'll go on like kill streak with a sniper rifle and no scope. So they think that they're going to have to fire multiple shots in a row to determine how accurate the rifle is. No, the only thing that matters is where's my cold bore shot and let's fire two more just in case I have to do two follow-up shots to determine exactly what my rifle is capable of. You're not going to fire nine in a row. You're not going to fire 20 in a row. Now, I'm not saying that firing those long strings is useless. They have their place. They really do. And we're going to go over those. For example, on my shredder, I'm developing a load. I just started developing it. So I fired three shots, sub them away. Not bad. Well, I just started developing a load, so I'm not sure what the charge is doing yet. So what I did is I fired my whole entire magazine to see what exactly is gonna happen. So it started right here, and then it worked up this way, and then they pretty much patterned right there. So I know I can either increase my charge a little bit, so the velocity starts right here where they're grouping, or I have to drop it down because I'm right on the edge of an accuracy node and as my barrel temp increases, I get a little bit higher velocity, it changes my point of aim. So, I got one of two choices. I can go up in my charge or I can go down. I'm going to go down first and see how that works out. If that holds a nice group, then I'll stay there. If I go up in my charge and then it stays right there, I'll do that. Firing like nine shots in a row to determine the rifle's accuracy, unless you're doing it in a zero wind environment and you're spending between like 30 to 60 seconds in between shots to let your barrel cool down, as your barrel warms up and the wind changes, you're not going to get accuracy numbers anymore. Now you're looking at the performance of the ammunition. The rifle is no longer a factor because the rifle doesn't have a part in it because things change. But seriously, where are you going to use that type of data. Where are you going to fire nine shots with 30 to 60 seconds in between shots in changing wind? Well, if you're setting up a prairie dog rifle, then yeah. The reason why we're shooting ARs out here is simple, that you get uh, a lot of shooting in. You know, you could do this with bolt guns. I've done a lot with bolt guns, and bolt guns are great at it. But uh, shooting the MSRs is just so much more fun simply because you can shoot so many times. Quick follow-up, burn up a lot of ammunition that way. I would fire multiple shots, but I wouldn't be firing it to determine accuracy. I'd be firing them in different time frames. Like I'd set a timer, like it would go off. Or a metrodome, that would probably work. Like click, 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 click. And I'd see how many shots I can fire in a row and how quickly before my point of aim starts to change. Because it will. You can't avoid that. Your point of aim will change as your barrel warms up because your ammunition will warm up, therefore the velocity is going to change, therefore it's going to hit in a different spot. So if I'm doing like a prairie dog rifle, yes, nine shot accuracy determination is most definitely relevant. Aside from prairie dog hunting where you're just sitting on a hill firing shot after shot after shot, where are you realistically going to use the data from a nine shot string? Nowhere. We live in the real world, we don't live in Call of Duty. What we're concerned about is the cold bore shot and the two follow-up shots. Where's my cold bore shot gonna land and is that consistent with the next two shots? How far of a difference am I gonna see from my cold bore to my next two shots? Again, also in load development. If you're developing a load, yeah, go with the longer string so you can see how the ammunition performs as the temperature changes. Because you wanna load a cartridge that isn't going to change drastically just by a little bit of temp increase. And if it does, then you need to either make the load hotter or colder. You need to get out of where you are if it's changing like this. Like, this was just a bad draw. I picked a bad charge. I should have went a little bit hotter or a little bit colder. 
So that's the deal with multiple shot groups. They're useless. If you want multiple shot groups, the best way to do it to still determine the rifle's accuracy is take three targets and shoot each of them three times. So as your point of impact shifts from the barrel warming up, you won't see that on paper because you're shooting at a new target. So you get three. Okay, next target you get three. Next target you get three. Take the average of them. That you can do because then it's a new target and the shots that are being fired are under a similar temperature. Another great example is right here. I got a carbon fiber barrel on a Magnum caliber. This can't shoot more than three rounds and be accurate. Sometimes I can squeak out four, never five, no matter how hard I try. And I've sent like 300 rounds down the pipe shooting different size groups. It never holds more than a sub MOA group with more than three shots because a Magnum caliber heats up the carbon fiber and for whatever reason, I get a huge point of impact shift as soon as my barrel starts to get warm. So is nine shot realistic? No. Three shot, yes. Maybe you could put it to five just to see how your ammunition holds under temperature. If you're showing off how really good of a load you've worked up, but yeah, just stick with three shots. Anything else is just a waste of ammo. But anyway, hope you found this video at least entertaining, if not educational. Educational. Like the support channel, got my Patreon right there, and I also have affiliate links in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.